Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn. And I, a I was asked here recently, what do you do after you've had your player go through and what we have is a seven hour hitting program or process. And what do you end up doing after? Well, after as we start working in the cage, this is where they actually start getting some live pitching or a live arm, but it's soft toss. We work primarily soft toss in the front uh, some you want to call it front toss, but I don't throw it overhand. Everything's underhand because I want to be very precise where my pitches are going. We predominantly work down the middle, and then I'll tell the batter inside, and then I'll tell the batter outside. This is not about me trying to have him recognize inside pitch, outside pitch. We're working on that pitch specifically, so I don't want to surprise him. We're still grooving the swing. So although he's been through the seven-hour program, I'm looking for one specific thing because I can't stand here or as I'm gonna sit back here and see the whole swing from the front and go, oh, you're not doing this, or the elbow, or your front arm's bending. I'm gonna be looking for one specific thing that I can say, hey, we need to improve that. But I'm also gonna let him know middle, middle, inside, outside, and I work primarily middle. We want to really focus on trying to perfect that swing right on the pitch down the middle if that's his perfect pitch. So here's what it would look like on a live pitch to a player. So I would set up behind a screen, obviously. We have a young player here. Get myself set to where I can easily hit my target. So I'm gonna tell him middle. We're gonna work middle for the first couple of pitches. And then I know right there that he kind of wrapped around the ball because he pulled, it was a little bit middle outside, and he pulled that thing to the left-hand side. So I'm gonna tell him, hey, don't release the bat so early. Keep it on your neck and shoulder a little bit longer. Back to the middle. Kind of like that. So the next two or three balls, I'm gonna go inside, inside, then outside. So inside. And that was a tough pitch. Good swing on that one, outside. But I want you to let that ball get a little deeper. Release the bat a little earlier. Outside. Just like that. So it's not exact specifics of I'm looking at the whole swing going, you're not, you know, you're not keeping your front shoulder down. That's what what I look was I, I was looking for today. But specifically I'm working different parts of the plate. When I threw the outside pitch, he came, casted his hands out early, wrapped the bat around to the outside and pulled the outside pitch, or more or less a middle outside pitch. But then you saw I came back outside, let it get deeper, release the bat a little bit earlier. So these are the things that we work on on front toss or soft toss, whatever you want to call it that. I don't sit off to the side because I don't see where pitches come from pitchers from the side. But primarily this is what we work with. Front toss, front toss, front toss, front toss. I don't go into pitching machine cages. I don't need to step back 40 feet and throw it 60 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour, and then come back with a change up trying to fool him. I'm not trying to fool our players. We're trying to perfect that swing down the middle, and then we work a little on the inside pitch, we work a little bit on the outside, and then we come right back to the middle. If you have any other questions, visit us at vvbaseballbarn.com. Go to our Facebook page and like us there, and send us any questions that you might have, or a drill, or, or if you're having a problem, say, hey, Coach Rich, can you help me with that? Till next time, like us at Facebook.